So Konami has unveiled a bunch of new Silent Hill games in the works, one of them including a remake of Silent Hill 2, which many people, including me, consider to be a classic and one of the greatest games of all time. Just off rip, without going into any further details, I am very excited for this remake. The game graphically looks amazing, the character models look top notch, and from the few scenes that we saw, the streets of Silent Hill look great as well. At first I wasn't a huge fan of James's face model, but even that, after watching the trailer a few more times, started to grow on me. The game is also a next-gen exclusive and is being developed in Unreal Engine 5, which is probably the reason why it looks so good. I just wish they showed even a small bit of gameplay to show the combat, but hey, Silent Hill is back, that's more than enough for me, you can't have everything. Now with all that being said, there is one problem that me and a lot of other fans have with this remake, and that is... This. This right here. To be fair, the only Bloober Team game I've played was the Medium, mostly because it was free on Game Pass. I have heard that their older games such as Observer were much better, but I can't speak on that because I haven't played them. The Medium, however, I just found pretty boring. The atmosphere and environments in the game were very well done, which are honestly very important factors in the quality of a horror game, so kudos for them for that. However, where the game drops the ball is the story and the writing. I was intrigued in the narrative for the first hour or two, but after that I just mentally tapped out. There wasn't anything special or unique with the characters in the game that made me interested in them to be honest. The combat was pretty much non-existent except for a couple of moments. I hate to use this word, but it is pretty much a walking sim. Not that I hate walking sims by the way, Death Stranding is one of my favorite games of all time. But if your game is just going to be a walking sim, there has to be other elements in the game that engage the player. Silent Hill 2 itself had what I consider poor combat, but what elevated it to GOAT status was mainly its story. If you're going to have a game with little to no combat and a weak story, then you're just going to have a bad game. It doesn't help that the director of the medium is also the director of the Silent Hill 2 remake. However, there are rumors going around that Konami apparently has Bloober Team on a tight leash for this game, and they will be overlooking any changes made to the story. But it is also important to keep in mind that the original rumors of the Silent Hill 2 remake included new original endings by Blooper Team. So make of that as you will. Another difference I noticed is how James is much more uh, expressive in this remake. For example, in the scene where he is holding the noose, he is frowning. Whereas in the original game, his face is much more straightforward and monotone. Another example in the trailer is this moment right here. I'm ready. I don't want to explain what happens in this scene as it is a spoiler, but in the original game, James does not show nearly as much emotion as he does here. I understand that one can easily make the argument that Silent Hill 2 is an old game and that developers simply did not have the budget nor the technology to properly display James' emotion like we can now with recent games. However, this state of James in the original game, where he seems to be affected very little by the absolute fucked up things happening around him, adds to his character. Let me explain with this example. Could she really be here, waiting for me? The opening scene in the trailer starts off with the first scene in the game, where James is in the bathroom and stares at the mirror. Notice how his hands are shaking and he is sweating. When he looks in the mirror, you notice that he is clearly distressed as he rubs his hands against his cheek. In the original game, his eyes are covered by shadows, making the player unable to see how he is truly feeling. He wipes his face with his hands and exhales deeply. As you play the game further and notice how he doesn't seem to be emotionally affected by the things happening around him, you start to realize that there is something seriously fucked up in his head. You can even see this through the other side characters in the game and their weird behavior. Although James comments on this, while playing the game you realize that James is not much different from them. The reason James and other characters are in Silent Hill is because they aren't normal people. 
and have serious trauma holding them back. By making James already seem distressed and afraid like in the remake, it kind of takes away from this message. To conclude, despite my criticisms, I am still very excited about this remake and will play it day one. Masahiro Ito, the monster designer for the original game, is also involved in this project, including the music producer Akira Yamaoka, so that instills in me a bit of confidence. This is also a chance for Bloober Team to shed itself of the negative connotations they have around their name and prove to people that they can make high quality horror games. I am also very excited for Silent Hill F and the Silent Hill game by Annapurna which was also revealed in the Silent Hill showcase. If these projects do well, it will be absolutely huge for the series and will help revive Silent Hill in our modern day. That's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Peace out.